The CyberKnife had undoubtedly a pretty good success story, but ultimately you were not satisfied. You said that you were still frustrated that the radio surgery is not really accessible to uh, many parts in the world. And uh, this uh, made you to transition to or to motivate you um, for even another a newer technology, which is um, the ZAP-X. How, how did that happen? Well, I don't think any of us should be satisfied. I mean, you look around the world and you realize that uh, these miracles of modern medicine, and I would argue radio surgery is one of them, are grossly underutilized. And they're not just underutilized in, in Bangladesh. They're underutilized even in you know, highly developed, rich places like California. And uh, for whatever reason, and I had my thoughts as to why, radio surgery has not had the penetration that it deserves. And patients are not getting the best-in-class treatment. Um, patients get mutilated with surgery or they get uh, second-rate and much more expensive radiotherapy procedures. I just felt that was unacceptable, and I figured that it needed to change. And if I didn't do it, I didn't know who would do it. Presumptuous, but it's how I felt. <laughs> I always wish someone else would do it, for God's sakes.